and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Ghan. Let's look at today's top headlines. An MC withdraws recently released MBBS Curriculum Family Adoption Program releases a new draft of curriculum for public opinion. In a surprising decision, the NMC has now withdrawn the recently released guidelines for the new CBME curriculum for the MBBS course and family adoption program. Since NMC has withdrawn and cancelled the circular altogether, the guidelines for manpower requirement for research facilities in a medical college, admission of students under disability category in MBBS program, format for some Submission of information regarding admission of in a medical college also stand cancelled. NMC is organizing a webinar specifically designed to address the concerns regarding the upcoming next exam. Addressing the apprehensions and stress built around the next examination, the NMC has decided to hold a webinar on next with all the medical colleges. All the final year MBBS students along with the faculty of the medical institutes across the country have been directed by NMC to attend the webinar on 27th of June at 2.30 p.m. Writing to the heads of all the medical colleges across the country, the Under Secretary of NMC K. Srinidhi has mentioned that the chairman of NMC will address the final year MBBS students along with the faculty to remove the anxiety regarding the common exit come licentiate examination next. NMC invites comments on draft CBME regulations 2023. Through recent notice, the Undergraduate Medical Education Board of NMC has released a draft NMC Competency-Based Medical Education Regulations 2023. Seeking public comments regarding the draft regulations, the director of the UGMEB, Shambhu Sharan Kumar, mentioned in the recent notice that the UG Medical Education Board proposes to make the above-mentioned regulations an exercise of powers conferred by the NMC Act 2019 and particularly by sections 10, 24, 25 and 57 of the said Act. A draft regulation is in this regard is being shared for public comments. Delhi Hospital slapped whooping rupees 1.5 crore compensation for sperm mix-up by infertility center operating inside the hospital. In the recent judgment, the NCDRC has penalized Delhi-based Bhatia Global Hospital and its doctors with a fine of rupees 1.5 crore for negligence while providing assisted reproductive techniques to a couple and resorting to unethical practices. Even though the couple gave birth to twins after going through intracytoplasmic sperm injection procedure, after conducting a paternity test, it was revealed that the male complainant was not the biological father of the babies. While holding the hospital and doctors negligent, the court also expressed its concern regarding unethical practices being used in art clinics and noted that art clinics are moving to donor gametes very early and also when not indicated just to increase the success rate of the clinic. Moreover, mixing of gametes and use of donor gametes is being done without the knowledge of the patient. Cognitive subtype of depression described may need less commonly used antidepressants for treatment, say scientists. A recently identified type of depression known as the cognitive biotype has been outlined by scientists. This particularly subtype is characterized by patients experiencing difficulties in planning, exerting self-control, maintaining focus amidst distractions and inhibiting inappropriate behavior. Approximately 27% of individuals with depression fall into this category and conventional antidepressant medications that primarily target serotonin have proven to be ineffective in treating. Brain imaging studies have revealed reduced activity in two specific brain regions responsible for these cognitive functions. According to researchers from Stanford Medicine in the United States, addressing these cognitive impairments through alternative antidepressant medications or other therapeutic approaches could potentially alleviate symptoms and help individuals regain their social and occupational capabilities. In the study published in the General JAMA Network Open, 1,008 adults with previously unmedicated major depressive disorder were given one of the widely prescribed antidepressants. 712 of them completed the 8-week regimen. Before and after treatment, the participants' depressive symptoms were measured using two surveys, a clinician administrated one and one a self-assessment tracking their sleep and eating, in addition to their social and occupational functioning and their quality of life. They also completed cognitive tests pre and post treatment which measured their verbal and working memory, decision speed and sustained attention among other tasks. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe 
and press the bell icon.